So a lot of people on my channel ask me, hey, Julian, should I use WordPress or should I use Wix? And I wanted to record this quick video to make sure you understand the difference and at the end choose the right tool for you. You will find all the links down in the description. As always, if you choose to click on them, you're helping me and my channel. So thank you a lot for that. And yeah, let's dive in. I have been using both. So in 2015, I've started conversiongorilla.com, which is a stupid domain name, by the way. And then I launched my, um, four years ago, I launched my own personal brand, julianweber.com with Wix. And you can, of course, go into the details and compare capabilities of both systems. But to be honest, you just have to understand one key difference. And this is the headache WordPress will give you. So let me explain. With WordPress, when you want to start, you first need your hosting. And then, of course, you need to choose from different hosting companies. There's Hostinger, Bluehost, SiteGator, and so on. And it's a little bit confusing to compare all of these systems because you just want to build your website, right? And once you made up your mind, and let's say you chose Hostinger, as I would recommend, I said, link in the description, then you need a theme for running your site because you need something to work with. So there are a couple of different design themes like Astra and Elementor, Ocean VP, and once you've chose your theme, you need a page builder. And to be fair, some of these page builders come with their own themes. So Elementor has Hello. So you have to choose which page builder you want to pick. I would recommend you choose Elementor and start with the Hello theme. But this is just me. You will find a million different videos on YouTube um, yeah, saying otherwise. And once you've done that, you need to have a domain. To be fair, again, a hosting company usually sells you a domain too but you can also choose to buy your domain from any other page. And once you've done that, you have your hosting and then you install your content management system, as in this video, WordPress on your servers, and then you link up the domain and then you install your page builder and your theme, and then you can start building your site. But believe me, once you've reached this point, two weeks have passed because it's so confusing because there are so many different hosting companies, there are so many domain companies, there are so many different page builders and so many different themes. So when I started, I looked like this after a week, I was like, okay, what can I do to make this simpler? And WordPress kind of disappointed because it made it a lot more complicated. I watched a bunch of tutorials which take forever. So for example, this one takes three hours, this one also three hours, and there was even an eight hour course on WordPress. And the next thing after we set everything up was to install some plugins. Because every WordPress site to run it properly needs up to five to 10 different plugins. So there's a plugin for SEO, Yoast SEO. There's a plugin to run backups. There's a plugin for image optimization. There's a plugin for yeah security. And there's literally a plugin for everything. And at this point, I wondered, like, why do I even need WordPress when I need all these other companies? And I got so many emails, sign up emails explaining me how awesome they are and the next premium package I have to book. But I pushed through anyways and built my site and it was still live today and runs and I'm kind of happy but I never look into it because I just fuck it WordPress and of course there are many people loving it but these are usually web designers and people who build websites every day for their clients because WordPress gives you some sort of freedom to design, but you're watching this video, so I can tell you're at the start of your journey. And I just want you to not make this mistake of taking WordPress because it will take forever because you have to make so many decisions. But yeah, all the website designers out there, I know you love the system, but there is also Framer and Webflow. So there are newer systems than WordPress. But for you beginners out there, you want to make your life easier as easy as possible because you probably want to run a business online or so so you have to focus on that instead of becoming an expert in running websites so yeah the wordpress game is just you have to buy your servers install wordpress buy a domain install a page builder and a theme then you have to all these five to ten different plugins and if you want to send some emails you also need mailchimp and if you want to accept bookings you also need some tool as calendly to just accept bookings which i don't believe have to come from 10 different companies because you have wix and Wix is an all-in-one solution. And for me, it's the ideal solution for small and medium-sized businesses and self-employed people like me, because you have one company 
providing you all of that. You have the servers there, you get the domain from Wix for free for one year, you have the website builders, and they have over 800 different templates, and you will find one which is perfect for you. I promise you that. And a lot of people still argue WordPress is for free, which is not because you have to pay for the servers, which is, can be five to 10 bucks a month, and you also have to pay for the domain. And if you want some premium features, you also need to pay for the page builder and the plugins, which can be quite expensive at some point. So, and Wix starts at uh, like $15 a month, so quite cheap. So yeah, this was me 2015 running WordPress sites and today I'm running on Wix. And yeah, there's a lot of things Wix can do for you. SEO, all-in-one, free domain, backups automatically. So you don't even have to care about security because you can just log in with a password and to factor authentication. So there's not really much you have to learn with Wix. And, and that's for me was the main difference in both tools because I promise you, if you sign up for Wix today, as said, you will find the link down in the description. You will have a proper website on a weekend or latest at the end of the week. So you don't need more than one week to build your website with Wix. I promise you that. But if you try out WordPress, I promise you, it took me two to four months to wrap my head around the whole system because it can get quite technical when setting up the servers. It can be also quite easy depending on which tool you use but you will have to learn a lot about plugins, a lot about themes and all this stuff, which is kind of confusing. If you just want a website like mine, for example, this is my website and I just need some buttons and some, some, some videos for my tutorials. And yeah, I can even have like a chat window here on my site from Wix. I can sell my own website coaching via Wix and I have my own blog. So you can do pretty much everything with Wix. Of course, you will have more solutions with WordPress because it's a bigger ecosystem and, and it has more than one online store plugin. With Wix, you kind of bound to the solution of Wix and take their online store system. But believe me, I have tried to use WooCommerce on WordPress and <laughs> it's just it's just not worth your time. Um, then yeah, I just use Wix to sell your products online and uh, because you can do a lot of things with Wix. You can also do email marketing. You can send offers and invoices with Wix and you can do the whole SEO thing with Wix and so on and so on. So for asset for small and medium sized businesses, just choose Wix because it's the better system. It's easier for you to set up. And if you want to become a professional web designer, then you can take a look at WordPress. But I think it sucks big times. And I hope you like this comparison. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, feel free to use the links down in the description. I, I don't know why I'm even doing this video because I think there will be a lot of people in the comments hating me for that. Uh, but I just wanted to prevent you from making the same mistakes as I did in 2015, choosing WordPress and starting my online business very, very slow. Yeah, just choose Wix. Thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye.